right, back when I was growing up, we used to have a teeter-totter. They don't have those anymore because they're deemed unsafe because of people like my brother. But a teeter-totter looked like this. You had a metal stand, then you had a big slab of wood, a two by four, and then you'd have a little metal handle here like this. And then the premise was, you'd have a kid on each end, and you'd go up and down and up and down and up and down. And that works really good. The key is, is that you have to have the teeter-totter balanced. So that means if I had a sumo wrestler over here, well, that means I probably have to have a couple more kids over here to balance it out. The key is, is that it had to stay balanced in order for the teeter-totter to work. Now, in mathematics, we consider the teeter-totter our equation. This is our equal sign. It balances the equation. It doesn't matter what I have on this side to this side. The equal sign means it is balanced. So if I have 7x squared minus 23 plus 16 over here is equal to 5, I have to believe it is balanced. And what that means is, is to keep it balanced, if I added another sumo wrestler over here, well, if I only added him to this side and not this side, then ah, I'm launching all my little kids. I can't do that. In order to keep it balanced, I gotta put another sumo wrestler over there. So that's where it comes from. Whatever I do to this side, I gotta do to this side. If I add 500 pounds here, I gotta add 500 pounds here. If I divide it in half, I gotta divide it in half here. You gotta keep it balanced. So what I do to one side of the equation, I do to the other. Adding, adding, dividing, dividing, multiplying, multiplying. Same thing, both sides, keep it balanced.